What's up guys, Teeth here and Teeth Gaming with another TV video, and once again we're in Yalahar, and this time we are at, what is it, uh, Yalahar Academy of Magic, and this is where I like to make a bit of money, as you can see I made a bit already, but it's a pretty simple spawn, you don't need potions as they drop them quite often, we're going to be hunting Derek Apprentices and Derek Magicians and a Priestess, uh, loot rate is good, experience, not bad, I get about 65k an hour, well it's a bonus, and we got something else. Ooh, mount. It's a donkey. And we got level 52. And that's about it. So we're going to go in here. I made this video earlier, but I was pissed off because two noobs kept coming in my uh, spawn like this guy. Like I'm here. I have my, I have my net letter down. And the reason why I didn't start from Yalahar Depot is because I wanted to make sure I had the spawn before I uh, started the video. Which I did. And then these guys just walk in. Like, no one respects the letter system anymore. It's annoying. But what can you do? I'm level 52, so I could kill him, but then I'd die. I'd be scald, and it's just not worth it. So we're gonna go straight off. We're gonna head southeast. Oh my god! Leave. Like, what is wrong with these people? So this spawn can kind of be kind of hectic. So be careful up here. For me, obviously, it's not be, like this is not this is way easier than what I should be hunting. But I like to make a bit of money here because their loot rate's pretty good, and I don't use potions. Oh my god, I just want to drop them. I actually very well might. That's how annoyed I am. Necrotic rod. Like, what is he doing? Like, should I eat skull? Is it going to be worth it? His friends will come and then I'll die and I'll be pissed. I just don't understand why people... If you have a spawn, they have the spawn. Moment. He's just going to say this over and over again. I have spawn. Leave or dead. Like, I'm probably just going to drop him. This is ridiculous. Like, I don't understand why he doesn't have to abide by the rules of Tibia. Someone has a spawn, you respect it. Boom. Like just simple as that. Especially level 41. I'm only 11 levels higher than him, but this is my spawn. <laughs> so I didn't really get to explain it because I'm annoyed at this dumbass. Uh, Dark Magician's Apprentices is all you're going to see. Oh, and Mad Scientist. I forgot about them. It's nothing too difficult, but what are you going to say? See, they, like I said, they drop potions at the hoo-ha this is my loot backpack which is just from other stuff if he doesn't go I just wanna drop him well like why would he run through here this is a quest for picking up mana pots so this is your first mad scientist these this like uh... southeast tower is probably the hardest of all the towers other than the priestess which is she's just kind of a bitch not much of a drop here cause she takes away like all your mana so like, as you can see, I haven't used a potion yet. I've looted three or four, and I made. I look, boom, mana potion. That's what I like tend to do. Is just kind of pot on the fly. I don't really pick them up. Dead frog, and I lucky. If I looted rains, I would shit a brick. Small child. That's like 150k or something. There used to be more, but apparently the price dropped. I'm not really sure. Die. My brother looted them and he was hunting them for like two minutes and at the time it was new so he was like, what's rains? It's like, I'm pretty sure those are worth a lot. And they were worth like 200k or 300k then. Because it was fairly on, like, he had just gotten his premium back so he didn't really know the mount system well. He was like, oh, rains. He near like left them and I was like, no. Pick those up, sell them, make bank. So this, this like, like I said, this tower is going to be your most difficult. Ah. Oh. And, oh, what's this guy? I'm going to start making uh, quest videos because my videos are kind of slowing down. Oh, where are we going here? Uh, close my window. My uh, hunting videos are kind of slowing down as I've kind of killed all the Alahara monsters that are beneficial for me. Like, this one is beneficial in the sense that I get a bit of experience and I get money. I make straight money, which is good. So if I hunted here for like two hours, I'd make fairly solid cash. 
which is what I might do today. And my house is hot as hell for some reason. I turned down the heat downstairs and opened up the windows, but it just doesn't seem to be working. I think I finally have a spawn myself. Because I was hunting like half an hour before, I don't know, maybe not that long, before like I started making the video, because I made the first video and I was just like angry the whole time because these kids kept coming to my spawn and it was just like not talking. And for the quest, I'm going to start off with uh, killing in the name, and I'm pretty sure that's a guy. Yeah, because uh, they, yeah, why? They're the most, like, useful quests. This guy's here to kill me. I'll be like, no, please no. Do I have how many pots do I have? Maybe strong health pots, all right. Let's mount this bitch. My donkey. Donkey. I kind of hope he is here to kill me. Try, anyway. I don't know if I have any friends on right now. Yeah, sell jets on. We're good. Okay. It's continuing. Uh, like I said, I'm going to use Killing the Name because they're useful quests and you have to do them to get most, like, not most, a bunch of add-ons. Pirate and such, so. Oh, Terra. That's why I do that. And this guy is in my spawn. Being a asshole. Why? Please tell me. Tell me why I had to come in here. Can you not read? I don't even care if he's level 133. I have the spawn. That's how it works. What's he saying? Here, this guy, this guy. Nope. See, that guy's probably here trying to loot reins. For him, he'd just be like one hit and everything, and then eventually he's kind of loot reins. Okay. Oh, God. 133, friendly. Not coming in here just being a dickhead to annoy me off. Annoy me off. <laughs> Piss me off slash annoy me. So this is a middle, this is what I call the middle tower. It's kind of the simplest I'd like to say. Maybe northwest tower is simpler, I don't really know. Either way, it's a fairly simple spawn. You got nothing to worry about. It's not you can be constantly patting your up potion button. Uh, hockey, sorry. Like, loop, boom. Everything else is just straight money. I think we're closing in on 2k. Obviously the platinum coin wasn't from here. And we've been hunting for 28 minutes. And that's with before the video and everything. And I'm closing in on my first backpack. So I'd say... In the first video there's two other guys here. So it didn't really work that well. So I want to say... Let's see, that's going to be 2k here in a second. I'm going to say 2k every 20 minutes if you're hunting it by yourself and fast. Because, see, I'm kind of going slow to try and walk you through it. I think that's a fairly fair statement. Oh, excuse me. Experiences. I'll check my experience after this tower. Like, right now, it's probably like 30k. It's poopy. 41k. Actually, this tower is kind of tricky. I forgot about that. Not for me, but for, like, lower levels. And I would recommend this for lower levels because... You can, you won't waste, but you're going to use potions at a lower level because these guys sometimes spam you. I just have Utera and my Echo and a bit more mana. Oh, rains. Oh, my God. You can imagine. Uh, but lower levels, I think this would be great for XP, like Knights and Pallies. Just, they drop in potions constantly. See, this is weird. So you can't complain there. Let's use some mana pots. Oh, no. We're going to get to red health. What should I ever do? So you're spamming the shit out of me there. We'll use a terror here in a second. Mm -hmm. There's a po like see like 42. There's a potion for you. If you use one potion, you make one potion. You go even. And even going even is better than anything. There's another 23, and I've used one potion. And there's another 24. So there's plus one potion, say and like your profit. Oh, this heat is gonna kill me. Struggling. And this is the priestess. So no, I lied. <laughs> Pre-systems for a while yet. Or it's down one. I don't know. 
health potion. Boom. Look at that. Back to a lot more health. So simple. I kind of really just want to hunt this to make money and loot range eventually. Which is a long shot. Because you have to loot. I'll use it here. It says, oh, that was a waste of a pot. Uh, like the, the drop rate is like minuscule. Oh. I don't know if I already said, but I joined a guild, as you can see. The wise guys. Not a high level guild. Mediocre levels. Look. Just used potion. Replaced it. Right now, I have all the potions I've already. I'm still replaced in like just potions looted, not money looted. So. That's a plus. Bring lots of food just so you can use spells instead of wasting potions. There's another potion. We're plus mana potions and we're plus uh, health pot. So I can't complain. And then rains would just top it all off. But like I said, like it's you'd have to kill thousands and thousands. Like the loot rate, that's how many you're going to have to kill. This is the priestess, bottom floor. You watch, she's about to take out all my mana. I'm like, no. There's 60 mana. 53 mana. There goes all my mana. What a $2 whore she is. Never drops anything. Never. So that's actually the uh, Derek Apprentice, Derek Mage. No. Yeah. Is that what they're called? Ah, uh, yeah, definitely. What are they? Yeah, Derek Magician. Okay. And Mad Scientist. So hopefully this is helpful. And like I said, try out the spawn. This isn't a great spawn, but right now I, I love Yalhar and I just like being in here. Just even the look of it is just kind of more appealing. Oh, bitch poisoned us. So, hopefully you enjoyed. Like I said, I'm going to be making questing videos. I might make another one tonight. I have a bit of homework to do. Oh, okay. It's 4 o'clock in the evening. And I still have... I don't have class till 1 tomorrow, so I can do some homework and sleep in. Or stay up late. All the fun stuff. You can follow me on Twitter. Uh, I have this account now, Teeth Gaming. Just as the same as my YouTube name. I'll tweet like up when I'm uploading and just random stuff. I don't know. Just like Twitter, it's random. Thanks for watching guys. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe, and peace. Uh I might have forgot something. And while I was gone I bought a demon shield. Yo buddy. The old uh, bank account took a beating though, so we'll have to deal with that. But ooh oh, soft boots. <gasps> Be nice. I forgot to tell you how to get out of here, so this is the depot. I'm just gonna her and hop on my old donkey. It's just straight northeast, you can see my map, so you're going to go to the northeast exit. We'll go very quick and then we'll end the video. I would hunted for a bit, like an hour and eight minutes total today. About to get 73 sword fighting, I got 72 shielding earlier. Uh, we made close to 6k, I think. I already put all my dragon breaths away. Yeah, we got two, four, like four. Two, yeah, four, 5k, 5.5k. So just continue straight northeast, and it's pretty simple, but if you don't have it mapped out, it could be kind of annoying, because there's that east gate can be Strika. 242 Royal Pally, Gratz Life. <coughs> yep, just hasn't leveled much. I think I know it's old owner, part owner, I don't know if you ever owned it, I just logged on it. I did anyway. And then you're just going to continue just straight northeast right here. And the spawn's just right in front of you. Take you right to the entrance uh, so no one can get lost and accidentally go continue northeast. And veer right, kind of head south, and boom. You're here. Alright guys, thanks. Peace.